guys, welcome to the vlog. I'm about to go pick up some new, shit. I'm about to go pick up some new wheels for the Evo and I am super stoked. We are heading over to Mickey's house right now because Mickey wants to go with me, kind of check out the wheels before I make the purchase. Also, they have tires on them already so I can literally mount them up today and the car will be looking awesome. Let's go pick up Mickey. Mickey. Nick. What's up? You ready to go pick up some wheels, dude? Yep. Let's go pick up some freaking wheels. Let's go. The guy I'm buying the wheels from is a little bit late, so me and Mick stopped at Starbucks. Right over where we're meeting him, get some oh, coffee. Star so basic. Dude, gonna grab these wheels real fast, open up the car. Still have all my crap in here. I'm gonna go check out the wheels real fast. Dustin, nice Brad. I think Toyota fan myself. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, one, three, yeah, one, three, yeah. I, ordered, I ordered the wheel special. Yeah. Ooh, baby, Mickey, look at this. Yep. So, if it's not already obvious enough, you know, I have Graham lights uh, made by Rays, which is pretty freaking tight. And these are actually really, really, really aggressive. You see all the, the even the undercutting in the spokes, and even in here in the, the, the bowl for the lug nuts has all been back cut so that it's lighter. It's really nice. The aggressiveness of these. Yeah, I mean, look at the shape of these spokes. I'm excited to see what these are gonna look like on the Evo 8. These were originally, so I got here, the guy was like, yeah, they were on my they were on my Evo 10 and they were rubbing. I was like, oh shit. Yeah. Evo 8 is gonna be pretty aggressive. <laughs> Alright, Mick, you ready to go back and uh put these bad uh, yeah. boys on? See how see the fitment on these? Yeah. These are I have a strong feeling these are gonna have lots and lots of poke, but we'll <laughs> see. Get the meat. So we're gonna drop off the wheels at Mickey's garage real fast. I'm gonna go pick up the Evo and then we're gonna see how these things fit. Kind of skeptical, but they're gonna look great. I know that. It's just the fitment that I'm worried about. And I'll see you guys when we get home. All right, let's hop in this thing and bring it to Mix. These things look so sick all cleaned up. I'm so excited to put these on. All right, wheels are all cleaned up. It's time to throw these things on. It's gonna look sweet. Hopefully now with these wheels, since the bumper is so aggressive, it makes the rest of the car look really narrow, which kind of looks funny to me. So hopefully these wheels offset that a little bit and make the car overall wider, which I think they will, and make the car flow a lot better. What do you think about these right now? Well, we're about to find out. They're pretty stinking aggressive, so... Um, yeah, I mean... It's a lot of wheel and tire, but now it's the... Uh, now we're gonna, it's, gonna see, we're, we're gonna, gonna see. Fight. Oh my God, that is some pokage. <laughs> it looks sick. It looks freaking sick, okay? Uh, it, it might be a little much, but it looks freaking sick. All right, look at that. That's some hefty beef. Now the doctor's gotta get out the fender roller. <laughs> we will roll the fenders, but not today. We'll do that this week or something, but. It's gonna roll like crazy. It'll be fine. So the wheels look freaking sick, but we have a little bit of cutting to do. It hits the front Voltex bumper just a little bit. We taped off what we're gonna cut, so right along this very small line, just cause the tires rub just a teeny little bit. So just so I don't munch the front bumper while I'm driving, we're just gonna cut it a little bit. It's fine, I mean, this always happens to me. I, I tend to go a little bit aggressive on my cars, which ends up having to do lots of modification to make them fit, but looks cool, so that's what, that's what I really want. And 
that is how you do it. We did it. Yeah, we buddy. Now, now, for a Sunday afternoon. now, now it's the real test. The real test to see if it uh, if it rubs or not. We'll be fine. Oh yeah, we have got some serious rubbing going on. You can't hear it right now because I'm on a pretty straight road, but the car definitely rubs and we are gonna need to seriously roll and pull the fenders, which is fine. I expected that. These came off of an Evo 10, so uh, we'll see, we'll see. Oh, you can hear it. All right, we have the stock wheels back in my possession. Let's take a look at the wheels. Now, these wheels look so good on the Evo. I am in love. They are a little bit too aggressive, so they do poke out quite a bit. They're gonna need some extreme fender rolling and maybe even some pulling. Super aggressive look. I'm happy with it. Now, does it rub in the front? Because you can see the front has a has good amount of clearance. But in the back, that's where it does rub. So we are definitely gonna have to roll and definitely have to pull these as well. Every little bump is just a scrape, so I mean, let's see. Can't even fit my finger in there and you got tire, so definitely have to clearance out that. I pretty much expected this when getting these wheels, so it'll be fine. Looking at this car from the back is my absolute favorite because it looks so mean and wide from the back. I love it. Looks so much better. The rear of this car is turning out to be just as awesome as the front with the Voltex uh, front bumper. It's sick. Now to be 100% clear, these are the Rays Graham Lights 576Cs or something like that. These have the Bridgestone Potenza 265, 35, 18 tires on them. Wheels are 18 by 9.5 plus 12. So definitely aggressive for an Evo 8. But that's why I always go aggressive on my cars and we always have to make them fit. But that's why I like my cars and it's definitely worth it to me to have a more aggressive fitment with some work involved. <laughs> Can I get uh, two Chick fil A sandwiches, please? Today, we are making these wheels fit because they have a lot of poke. While I like poke, but my fenders are just destroying these tires. You can see I have, I have rubber on the side of my car from these just rubbing. So hopefully we can roll and pull these enough to make them not rub as bad. I'm expecting them to rub a little bit, but hopefully it fixes the issue enough. I don't know, we'll see. I have to take all of these wheels off, then Mickey's gonna help me and teach me how to roll fenders. Well, what I would do is I would mark a center point for the wheel so that you know where the center of the arch is. It's about right there. Draw a straight line down through the axle nut. That's about the center line. So that's gonna be the top of our radius. And then what I would do is look and see where it looks like it's making contact. It looks like it's about here to here. So let's mark those. So there to there. Uh, right now, I'm just gonna heat up the uh, heat up the paint a little bit so that it's a little more flexible. Uh, So the idea is to heat up the, the paint a little bit so it's a little more pliable, so it doesn't crack as easy. That's another thing you want to do before you start roll, actually rolling is um, if you have a fender wall that has a lip that rolls back, just take a heat gun or um, an air sprayer, air nozzle, and just shoot up in here because sometimes there's rocks that lay in there and then when you fold this up, if there's a rock pinch in there, it'll actually create a positive crater on the outside of your fender. I've done it before by accident. Uh. Well, it's a couple hours later. 
and I have some explaining to do. Well guys, it's been a few hours since the last clip. We had a very rough day at the shop today, so I kinda, we, we did some stuff, I took a little break. Now it's like 10 o'clock at night. Take so. watch bro. Yep, right there. Did not go as planned. Come over here, I'll show you a little bit. And we messed up. Whoa, what? We messed up bad. Let me just uh, see if I can unravel this tape real fast. This happened today. Oh, oh yeah. Bacon. That's a crack. While rolling the fenders, we absolutely destroyed this front fender. Now, completely my fault. Even though we like heated it up and everything, and you know, we were going slow, the fender just cracked, and that's the chance you take when rolling fenders and pulling fenders. These tires and wheels are super, super beefy and take a lot of work to get them to fit, but that's my choice. With all of my cars, I don't just go with a normal spec, which is like 18 by nine and a half plus 22. I almost gave up. I almost wanted to, well, I actually did post these for sale. I got home, me and Sean were talking, we did some measurements, and I, if, if I give up on these, that's me quitting, and I wanted these, I wanted these specs, and if it were easy, everybody would do it. So I wanted the beefy specs, so we're gonna do it. Plan now is, since we messed up these fenders, I actually got some Sabin carbon fiber fenders, which add an extra 10 millimeters, which should equal out the fronts. So that replaces these entire fenders. It's all carbon fiber. It'll look really good and it'll fix these. And then for the back, these are the absolute worst. If you get in close, you can see the rubber is literally just peeling off the tire right here. Oh, look at this. That's literally tired, just rubbing on the fender. We didn't even try the rears, but what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna try and roll and pull these. Now, I don't wanna go wide body. Yes, that's an option. I can get like the Voltex over fender kit and stuff, but for this car, I kinda wanted to keep it stock body. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna try to roll and pull the rears, heat it up a lot more than we did the fronts and go even slower, kinda cut this bumper mount and relocate it back here to make this fit hopefully, cause we can, it's definitely doable. It's, it's possible. definitely possible. Just there's a chance of it buckling or cracking just like the fronts. And if that happens, obviously I will go with like the Voltex over fender kit for the front and have the Sabin carbon fiber wide, wide fenders. I'm gonna try. I took a loss today. Shit happens when you work on cars, guys. Not everything goes perfect. I'm not gonna give up. I'm keeping these wheels. I freaking love the stance and the beefy fitment. That's what I want for the car. The car is gonna be on the track and the wider is the better. So we're gonna do that. And pretty soon me and Sean will freaking pull this thing out. What do you think, Sean? Yeah, we can do it. I mean, if you look at it from here, it's not that bad. It's just a slight pull. And we're gonna make it work, bro. We got this. We're gonna make it work. Yeah. It'll definitely be worth it. But that's an end it for today's video. Don't give up, bros. If something doesn't go your way, sit on it for a little bit and uh, give it another try. So thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace out.